In this module, we will study weed, pest and diseases for cotton. The introduction of improved varieties and hybrids, adoption of wider row spacings, slow growth in early stages, coupled with frequent irrigations, application of higher doses of fertilizer, and intensive cropping systems predispose the cotton crop to heavy infestation of weeds as these provide very congenial conditions for weed growth. In cotton fields, moisture removed by weeds is more than that of cotton crop and at the top 15 cm soil layer, weedy plots tend to be drier than weed-free plots. When weeds were allowed to compete with cotton, after first and second irrigations, reduction in yield of cottons to the extent of 20% have been observed. The weeds deplete enormous amount of plant nutrients from the soil. All weeds compete for space and light and reduce crop yields. When the moisture and nutrients are adequate, then the competition is mostly for light. Interception of light by canopies of cotton occur more slowly than canopies of weed and require 6 to 12 weeks for 80% interception of light by cotton. Weeds take 8 weeks to reach maximum cover while cotton takes 16 weeks to reach 90% cover. Critical period for crop growth is 60 days from sowing. Normally, weedling has to be done three times during active growth period of cut crop. Different methods like hand weedlings, tillage, intercultivation by hoeing can be used to remove weeds. If widely spaced, intercropping of legumes of short duration help in controlling weeds. Application of weedy sites like 1250 grams of Durex 80WG or 5 liter of Pendimenthalin 30% in 200 to 300 liters of water per acre helps in controlling weeds. The spray volume should be 500 to 750 liters per hectare. How do we control weed in cotton crops? During the pre-emergence or pre-planting stage, application of pendimenthalin at the rate of 1 to 1.52 AI per hectare or duron at the rate of 0.75 to 1 kg AI per hectare, clochloralin at the rate of 3.5 kgs per hectare, nitrofen at the rate of 1.5 kgs per hectare or Alkalor at the rate of 3.5 kg AI per hectare is more effective as it provides weed free condition in the initial vulnerable period of 5 to 6 weeks after sowing. The cotton crop is susceptible to a large number of insect pests. The incidence of insect damage is more severe in hybrid cotton than varieties. Only chemical control of pests is not possible. Cultural methods like appropriate time of sowing, thinning at proper time, proper spacing, deep plowing, removal of alternate hosts, burning of stubble after harvest, trap cropping or healthy intercropping are useful methods to reduce the insect's population or attack. Indiscriminate use of insecticides alone can only aggravate the insect damage, leading to discontinuation of cotton cultivation itself. We will now look at the ways or the chemicals to control the insects. Let's look at the first insect. It is called Amencan bolloworm. It can occur in all stages. The symptoms of damage is larvae feed on leaf, bore into squares, flowers and balls. 
It is active throughout the year. The way to control this insect is by applying Zalio at the rate of 2 milliliter per liter or Jaikisan Riper at the rate of 0.5 grams per liter or Jaikisan Gada Ultra at the rate of 2 milliliter per liter. The next insect is pink ballworm. It can occur when the crop is mid-stage to the end of the crop. The symptoms of the damage are affected flowers do not grow fully and it also shows characteristic resetting buds shed. It is most active in August to September. The way to control pink ballworm is by applying either xylo at the rate of 2 milliliter per liter or Jaikisan Riper at the rate of 0.5 grams per liter or Jaikisan Gadda Ultra at the rate of 2 milliliter per liter. The next insect is spotted ballworm. It occurs in ball formation stage. The symptoms of damage are larvae bore into terminal shoot of young plant leading to death. Development of side shoots and young balls damage buds, flowers and balls shed. It is active throughout the year and the control measures of spotted ballworm are to either apply Jaikisan Xylo at the rate of 2 ml per litre or Jaikisan Riper at the rate of 0.5 grams per liter or Jaikisan Gadda Ultra at the rate of 2 milliliter per liter. The next insect is tobacco ballworm. It, it can occur throughout the crop period. The symptoms of damage are early instar larvae feed on under surface of leaf, keltonizing leaves, also feeds on flowers, buds, flower calyx, squares, on balls. It is active throughout the year and the control measures are the same as other insects, which is to apply either Jaikisan Xylo at the rate of 2 ml per liter or Jaikisan Riper at the rate of 0.5 grams per liter or Jaikisan Gadda Ultra at the rate of 2 ml per liter. The next insect is white fly. It can also occur throughout the crop growth. The symptoms of damage are sucking of plant sap by feeding on under surface of leaf, chlorotic spots on leaves, leaves drop prematurely. The infectious period of white fly is between November to February. And the control measures of whitefly is to apply Jaikisan JK Imida at the rate of 0.5 liters per liter. The next insect is aphid. Aphid occurs in early growth stages. It sucks leaf sap, curly leaves, leaves drop quickly, sticky honeydew and sooty growth on leaves is seen. The infectious period of aphids is between May to November. The control measures of aphids are we can apply either Jaikisan Monosan at the rate of 2.5 ml per liter or JK Imida at the rate of 0.5 ml per liter or Jaikisan Afsan at the rate of 2 grams per liter or Jackson Falker at the rate of 0.5 grams per liter. The next insect is Jacids. It is mostly seen at seedling stages and it is sometimes seen throughout the year. The symptoms of damage are insects feed on the under surface of the leaves leading to curling of leaf edges. Leaf turn red and brown, dry up and they shed. Jacids are active throughout the year and the way to control jacids is by applying JK Imida at the rate of 0.5 milliliter per liter. The next insect is spider mite. 
Spider mite is active throughout the year. It can also cause infection throughout the year. The symptoms of damage are it punctures the leaf, then feeds on sap, and it leads to the leaves turning red and wither and drop. The way to control spider mite is by applying Jaikisan Gadda Ultra at the rate of 2 milliliter per liter. The next insect is thrips. Thrips occur in vegetative stage. The symptoms of damage are nymphs and adults lacerate leaf surface and feeds on plant sap upper side of older leaf turn brown and lower side becomes silvery white. The infectious period of thrips is between May to September. The control measures of thrips are to either apply Jaikisan Falker at the rate of 0.5 grams per liter or Jaikisan Gadda Ultra at the rate of 2 milliliter per liter. The cotton crop suffers from a number of diseases. Let's look at these diseases also one by one along with their control measures. The first disease is Helminthosporium leaf spot. Helminthosporium spaciforum is the organism name. It occurs in vegetative or seedling stage. The symptoms of damage are numerous light brown circular spots are seen on the leaves. The way to control this disease is by applying either Mangala COC at the rate of 3 grams per liter or Jackson Hexan at the rate of 5 milliliter per liter or Jackson Trophy at the rate of 2 grams per liter. The second disease is root knot nematode. It occurs in early stages and the symptoms of damage are it leads to lack of vigor and it leads to stunted plants, galls on tap and lateral roots. The way to control root knot nematode is by applying Jaikisan Carbosan at the rate of 5 kg per acre. The next disease is root rot. The or casual organism name of root rot is Rizoctania batatikala. It can occur in all stages. The symptoms of damage are, it leads to a sudden and complete wilting of the plant. High soil temperature favors the occurrence of root rot. The way to control root rot is by applying Mangala COC at the rate of 3 grams per liter. The next disease is anthrac. The next disease is anthracnose. The casual name for anthracnose is Collectotricum gazepium. Anthracnose can occur in all stages. The symptoms of damage are small reddish colored spots and cotyledons are seen. Water soaked small reddish brown depression spots and balls are also observed. Warm and humid temperatures Temperature between 29 to 33 degrees Celsius favor anthracnose. The control measures for this disease are to apply either Mangala COC at the rate of 3 grams per liter or Jaikisan Hexan at the rate of 5 milliliter per liter or Jaikisan Trophy at the rate of 2 grams per liter. The next disease is bacterial blight. Bacterial blight can occur in all stages. The symptoms of damage are angular leaf spots on leaf black arm lesions on stem and leaf lesions on young leaves are observed. It is a seed borne bacteria and it is a secondary infection through natural openings or insect caused wounds. 
The way to control bacterial blight is by applying Mangala COC at the rate of 3 grams per liter or Hexan or Jaikisan Trophy at the rate of 2 grams per liter. The next disease is Alternaria leaf spot. It can occur in all stages. The symptoms of damage are brown rounded or irregular spots on leaf with cracked center cause canker on stem, high humidity, intermittent rains and moderate temperature are congenial to alter alternate are congenial to alternaria leaf spot. The way to control alternaria leaf spot disease is by applying Mangala COC at the rate of 3 grams per liter or Jaikisan Hexan or Jaikisan Trophy at the rate of 2 grams per liter. The next disease is wilt. The casual organism name for wilt is Fusarium vasinfectorn. Wilt can occur in all stages. The symptoms of damage of wilt are yellow to brown colored cotyledons are observed, leaves turn brown, and blackening of vascular tissues also happen. Excessive soil moisture and soil temperature ranging between 24 to 28 degrees Celsius are the few factors favoring wilt infection. The next disease is Sarsospora leaf spot. The casual organism name is Sarsospora gasipiana. Sarsospora gasipiana. Sarsospora leaf spot occurs in older leaves at maturity stage. The symptoms of damage are purple dark brown or blackish borders and white centers are observed on the plant. The way to control this disease is by applying Mangala COC at the rate of 3 grams per liter or by applying Jaikisan Hexan or Jaikisan Trophy at the rate of 2 grams per liter. The next disease is Areolate or Grey Mildew. The casual organism name is Ramularia areala. This disease occurs in the maturity stage. The symptoms of damage are irregular translucent spots on leaves are observed. Leaves also become yellowish brown and they finally fall off. The factors which favor the infection of grey mildew are low lying moist localites. 25 degree to 30 degree Celsius temperature is favorable for this disease germination. Thank you.